Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video, I'll teach you how to make charts that update automatically. Let me show you what I mean. See, there is some data that have taken Thor, Superman, He-Man and Hulk are, are our sales representatives and here are their targets and these are their sales and this is how it is represented in a chart. Now, what if I added a name over here, say Loki and gave him a target again of 10,000 however he was busy in his devilries and just ended up making a sale of 5,000 so we as we as soon as we entered it over here the chart got updated automatically right let's try one more name what do you suggest Magneto another villain Magneto all right so he also was given a target and he just ended up making 1000 reason being he was again busy with fighting the x-men and all so it also immediately gets updated over here now this is what i'm talking about charts that update automatically i'll teach you how to do that just before we do that one more example here's a data say of quarter one and quarter two these are the sales these are two charts which represent the percentage contribution over here and the amount contribution over here what if i add quarter three and say the type the sales improve see q4 and sales increase further and we are showing a percentage wise, -wise distribution and a amount wise distribution over here so now we established what we are going to learn let's know how to do that and it's very very simple and to do that i'll go to sheet 2 and this is the data see i've copied from the last example this one all right so here are the sales reps here's the target here's the sales amount now before i go ahead in a chart and create a chart which updates automatically i have to go ahead and convert this data source into a table because that is how a chart will be updated automatically it's not the chart that the magic lies in it's in the data source that the magic lies in so for a data source which can expand in indefinitely and you want to have a chart that responds accordingly you need to convert that data into a table how do we do that select the data go to insert click on table and click on OK. Yes, always say that my table has headers and ensure that your table has headers. All right. Now, this is converted into a table. All that we now to do is create a chart. Now, I click over here where I want to insert a chart and I go to insert and say I select a column chart. Here is my chart. I do a right click. I select data. Now, keep a very, very keen eye on what is reflecting over here chart data range i am selecting this table now this range which has been converted to a table and what does it say table 3 hash all was it saying table 3 because we have created already two tables in sheet number 1 so this is table 3 and hash all means that it does not have a boundary defined to it if you add more data to it without a break in a row over here or in a column over here without a break the table would automatically expand to add that in and would consider that also to be a part of the table and your chart would automatically get updated see now this area is not part of a table right this area is see as soon as I click over here the table tool design button comes up the tab comes up right but if i click over here no now what if i add a name over here let me add a superhero this time okay and we have simple name easy spelling bugs bunny that's also a superhero for me <laughs> see now as soon as i click over here see the table tools design tab comes up that means that this also is now considered to be part of the table because this line was added without a break to the table either here or you can add it over here. So as soon as I mentioned Bugs Bunny, see, it got updated in the chart. And now I can mention the target and the sales. Oh, this guy has to be amazing. So this is how we create 
charts that update automatically by creating tables of the data source and in case you want to remove a table all right what you need to do is just select the table go to again design tools and click on convert to range as soon as you click on convert to range the design formatting all would stay like that like previous but it is no longer a table so if you add something over here it will not reflect in the chart why don't you do one thing go ahead to myelesson.org and you can download this file for practice for free and learn how to create charts that update automatically all right i hope you like this video so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning